Controlling your bow is so much to playing cello. Today we're going to learn about how to apply pressure and the four different plateaus that we put this bow on. I like to start all of my students with the neutral strings, the G and the D string. And when you do so, you want to be able to address the fact that this bow is moving on its own. It's a sensation that you want to get used to Check out the video on Invisible Cello and really address the fact that when you are playing, you're running the finger along the inside of the hand like this, even pushing up. So let's start on the G string. You've done your Invisible Cello, you've warmed it up, you've loosened up the arm, and when you start, you always want to start with the arm collapsed like a wing of a bird. And then when you extend out, the arm is going to go all the way and as you see right here, I'm in full lock. And when you do this, you're going to possibly lose some control of these outer fingers, and that's okay. As if you're pushing something off of a table or off a counter. Here this is, I'm pushing it off. It's something that I want you to think about. Take anything, put it on a table, a desk, a counter, and push it off. Are you gonna push it like this? Or can you push it, most people take it, and push it like this. And that is the essential movement when you're doing it with your bow. And so when you're on the G, very neutral, you're going to do the down bow stroke and slowly turn out because that's how you apply pressure. And putting more pressure on the further you leave the frog and lessening the pressure when you get here. You're actually lifting like a marionette. You're lifting from your wrist right here. So if I play the G with no lift from the wrist, it's going to sound quite harsh at the beginning. I'm going to let the whole arm drop into the bow and you're going to hear a very rough sound. My apologies. I'm letting the arm, which weighs about maybe eight pounds, I don't know, but I'm letting the arm drop into the bow and create that. You need to control the fact that you have a weight pulling down, the gravity pulling down the arm into the bow. And you're lifting here from the elbow, you're not lifting here from the shoulder. And as you continue to the middle, you allow the arm to get more heavy. Lifting. Now I'm neutral, dropping the arm into the bow. And here I am rotating out. The D is very similar to the G string, same thing. Like a marionette, you're light. And that's a thing you want to do as a beginner. When you start your bow technique, you have to put yourself in position, relax your shoulders. You have to consciously relax your body. Stop in the middle, let the arm drop. And then in this last third, rotate. That was a little too much. Now you're in this position. You see I'm actually lost some of my fingers right here. That's okay. I'm still in control. I'm rotating out because as I come in, the arm's going to collapse into the body. Here at full extension, coming back. In the middle, dropping the arm. In this last third, I'm actually lifting a little bit. The C is a little bit easier and I like to make the analogy of a canoe. If you ever have gone kayaking or canoeing, this is the paddle right here. So I'm paddling. I know it's a funny analogy what I'm doing, but I want you to do it with me. And when you're doing this, this is plunging into the water. So you're going to plunge into the water with your hand. And if I remove that, you see right here, I'm pushing down, rotating out and pushing down. On the C, same thing. Relax, lift a little bit from the wrist, and drop the arm, plunge into the water. Stop, relax. Stop, relax. And if you even put some rosin on your pants, that's okay. You're learning the right technique. 
I'm here at full extension, but you and me are anatomically different. So you may feel a different positioning. Your arms may be longer than mine. Another thing to consider is you're not pulling back. You're letting the arm drop. Use a mirror or your phone to help you with this. Relax, drop the elbow, and lifting at the end with that wrist. With the A, it's a little bit different. I akin it to sheathing a sword. I used to do live action role plays, and when you have a sword, if you ever have, go to a toy store and grab a sword, or just watch a movie. But you have to physically do this, so it's really cool. Find a sword somewhere and do this. Go to you know, knife stores or whatever, and they have swords. When you sheath a sword, here's your sheath here, it's usually here, people are right-handed. You will do this and you will sheath your sword and it will come out and sheath in like this. If you want to be more close, put your hand right here, sheath it out and sheath it in, running it along the inside of the fingers. And that's how it is. We're out at full extension. Again, we're coming out like this and you're saying, oh no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. You don't go like this. Oh, don't hurt me. You're always doing this. And that is how we apply pressure as we further go out. So let's try that. Here's our sword sheath. We're going to remove it from its sheath and we're going to put it back in. Remember, a sheath is going to guide that sword straight in. You're not going to go different places. So it needs to come out and come in at the same place. Come out, and come in. You have to allow the arm to do these actions. You don't think about it because you're not going to pull it in this way. You're not going to push it out that way. It's going to go straight out and straight in. Now let's put it onto the A string, have our sheath, and then put it back. Remove it, if you want, out, in. Because it's the thinnest string, you're lifting ever so much more here, but allowing to be heavy. It's okay to be scratchy and heavy at the beginning, and you'll learn to lighten up as you become more experienced. So thanks for watching today. You can check out this video here to learn more about bow technique, or this video you might find interesting as well. And I do hope you consider subscribing, and I hope you stick around as well, because we're going to learn a lot.